What's up, y'all? I know we're dealing with a lot. Um, we all have been faced with the COVID-19 crisis, the whole coronavirus crisis, and um, it's got a lot of people displaced, people not being able to go to work. Kids can't go to school. Y'all probably can't go to school if you're taking, you know, college courses or classes or whatever. And the studios have been shut down. So um, a lot of artists are now looking for ways to record. I know y'all need a, a outlet to get this creative stuff out of you. Um, and so basically what I plan to do here is create a three-part series. With this three-part series, I'm going to break down everything that you need to buy, keeping that budget under 500 bucks so that you can get started in your home studio. Part two. I'll demonstrate how you can actually set that up and show you how to make a makeshift <laughs> isolation booth for your home, your bedroom, wherever you may be uh, quarantined that during this time. And then lastly, I'll show you guys a little bit on how you can record in GarageBand, which is free if you own a Mac. Uh, but there are some other applications, but we'll start off with GarageBand. If you guys are using Pro Tools or um, uh, Studio One or Logic or any of those other uh, softwares, you can check out my channel and find out information about how to record in those DAWs as well. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you can check out all the videos in this new series that I'm going to be putting out. I drop videos every week dealing with production, recording, mixing, and all kind of studio stuff, so it's just a good place to be around. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys three different options of complete home studio packages that you can buy for about 500 bucks. Some of them less, one of them a little bit more. I'll assume that you guys already have a computer. Um, if you don't have a computer, that's gonna make staying under 500 bucks really hard. So, so we're gonna take the computer out of the equation and focus on everything else that you need to set up your home studio and start making some awesome recordings that you can send off to your mixing engineer so that they can finish your records for you. Okay. So let's take a look at option one. Option one, we're gonna start with the microphone. Audio-Technica AT2020. Now this is a $99 microphone, but it has thousands of reviews online. People say that they really love it, and for 100 bucks, you can't really go wrong with that. Um, yeah, I would start there. The Audio-Technica AT2020 is 99 bucks if that's within your budget range start there if you have a little bit more stay tuned for the next mic that i'm going to recommend also within option one is a really cool audio interface that i found for the low low all right it's the Audion evo 4 and that audio evo evo 4 comes in at 129 bucks One of the main features that I like about this new audio interface is that it has a smart gain function where it will automatically detect your input level and set the gain for you. So if you're a beginner, if you're not an engineer, you just want to get some home recordings done so you can send them off to your mixing engineer. This is going to be great. You don't have to learn a lot about gain staging or anything like that. This thing has a smart gain function that will automatically set the input level for you. So I think that's going to be a great choice for a lot of y'all. The Audience Evo 4 has two microphone preamps, so you can connect two mics if you need to. You can also connect an instrument input, like a guitar or a bass, and you can record sample rates of up to 96 kilohertz and 24 bit on your bit depth. The next thing that you're gonna need in this option is gonna be a mic stand. Now I just went over to Amazon and found a decent mic stand with some great reviews for $19.99. You will also need an XLR cable to connect your microphone to the audio interface. Now, I wouldn't go super cheap on this because, you know, these XLR cables could fail you. So I stay away from the Amazon basics and went uh, one level up for the GearLux XLR microphone cable uh, male to female. Now, this is a two pack and that two pack is only $21.99. Just in case one of those cables doesn't work or you have a problem with it, you have another one to use. So I would definitely recommend getting that. And next with this setup, you're going to need a pop filter. Also on Amazon, the newer professional microphone pop filter um, is available for just $8.99, all right? And one of the last things that I'm going to put you guys on to for this option one is going to be a makeshift booth. Now, some of these th things that we need for the studio will overlap in option one, two, and three. The makeshift isolation booth is one of them. Um, but 60 bucks put aside, you can go to your local hardware store and get everything you need for this. So with the Audio Technica AT2020, the Audient Evo 4, the mic stand, XLR, pop filter, and the makeshift uh, um, 
isolation booth, you coming in right under 350 bucks. Now, one thing I did leave off here was some headphones. If you don't have a pair of headphones already, I'm gonna recommend just one set of headphones for all three of these kits, and that's gonna be the Sennheiser HD 280 Pro. They cost 99 bucks, but if you already have some headphones, use those, all right? You ain't trying to mix in this. You're not trying to create a great mix, so the headphones don't have to be anything amazing. If you have some beats or anything like that around the house, use those. But I will warn you that you will need a quarter inch connector. So if you just have the small quarter, uh, the small eighth inch uh, plug, you will need a quarter inch adapter to make sure that you can plug your headphones into your audio interface. Let's move on to option two. Option two starts off with a Rode NT1A. The Rode NT1A is a great microphone. I have one of those. Um, I've had it for years. I've used this a, a lot. You know, I've used it on vocals. I've used it on piano. It's a great microphone, and it'll definitely work in your home studio. The Rode NT1A is a little bit better than that audio, uh, the Audio Technica AT2020, and it comes in at 229 bucks. Now, the interface that I recommend with this package, um, they can be swapped out, but I went with the Focusrite Scarlett Solo for this one. Um, it's a one input Focusrite interface, which is very popular. So many people use this interface. That's why I had to put it on this list because you just can't go wrong with the Focusrite Scarlett for 109 bucks. It's gonna get you a great sound, all right? You also need a mic stand for this setup. We'll keep the same mic stand for 20 bucks. Nine from Amazon and no pop filter is actually going to be needed with this. The good thing about the Rode NT1 is that it actually includes its own pop filter and shock mount setup. So you don't even have to worry about that. All right. So with option two, the Rode NT1A, the Focusrite Scarlet Solo and our makeshift booth. And of course, the uh, mic stand will be just about 400 bucks with option two. Not bad. Option three is a little more pricey, but if you want superior quality, you gotta spend a couple extra bucks to get it. This package also includes the Rode NT1A for 229 bucks, but for this one, I chose the SSL2 interface. Now that SSL2 interface is selling for 230 bucks right now, which is a really great price, I think, for a SSL product. SSL, if you know, if you don't know, they are a legendary company, and this interface is amazing, right? The specs on paper just blow stuff out of the water. So I would definitely check this one out, the SSL2 interface. I hope to get my hands on one soon to review for y'all, but I would check this out if you need a home recording solution. And of course we need a mic stand. Uh, no pop filter is gonna be needed because the Rode NT1A also includes that. And of course we need that 60 bucks so we can go to the hardware store to make our makeshift booth. Okay, so option three is a little bit over budget with the Rode NT1A at 230 bucks, the SSL2 at about 230 bucks, our mic stand for about 20 bucks. Uh, we don't need a pop filter for this one, but we will need that makeshift uh, sound booth. That'll bring us in at about $530 for this option three. All of these items are available online and can be delivered directly to your home. Most of the stuff is on Amazon and some of the other stuff I found on Sweetwater.com. I'll leave links to everything below so you can go ahead and order this up right now. In the next video, I'll show you guys how to set up everything you just bought and set up that makeshift booth for 60 bucks and exactly what you need for that, all right? So make sure that you subscribe to the channel, like, comment if you have any questions, and man, be safe out there, stay well, and of course, be dope. <laughs>